the first decades of the century, America was speeding up. Photography not only documented America's growing industrial might, it was put to work as a tool of the modern assembly line. In this speeded up world, factory owners looked to the camera to make their workers move even faster. Frank Bunker Gilbreth took his first step into the field of management in 1885, when on his second day as an apprentice bricklayer, he questioned why he was being taught several different methods for laying bricks. His interest in finding the best method led to his development of motion and fatigue study. Early in the century, Frank Gilbreth used photographs to break a worker's every action into the smallest units, revealing every unnecessary movement. He studied the fastest workers in order to teach maximum efficiency to everyone. In Gilbreth's cyclograph technique, he attached flashing lights to a worker's fingers to indicate the length of time a motion would take. Soon Gilbreth's photographs were changing the lives of everyone from golfers to oyster shuckers. Gilbreth observed that surgeons took more time looking for their instruments than they did in performing the operation itself. He suggested a new procedure. Keeping an eye on the incision, the surgeon would extend an open palm to the nurse and utter the now famous words, scalpel please. Some accuse Gilbreth of turning skilled workers into robots, but the bosses loved his techniques. Gilbreth even brought his zeal for efficiency to his own large family. His children got their revenge when they wrote about home life with their eccentric father and called it cheaper by the dozen. Gilbreth died of a heart attack at age 55. 